Gracia Italia! Be who I'm King Gathawan, be who I'm King Jalen, who I'm King Kushan, who I'm King Temka, and Tabu Kungago, Lini Rock, Femic, Sausage Man, Bird! Welcome the Who to Linear Rock and to Milan. You have a show tonight. We are very proud to have you here. And it's actually a very interesting meeting. Two albums, The Garrick from 2019 and Rumble of Thunder 2022, which is the brand new one. First off, rock and roll in Mongolia. It's so epic, something we are not very much used to, and something that seems so far from your culture. How did you approach, first off, rock music in your early days, and especially metal, which is even rarer, I guess, in, uh, in Mongolia and more extreme? Um, how would you explain how it fits your culture? You need to know that who am I? Italy and Milan are the same. They are the same as the other people. They are not the same as the other people. They are not the same as the other people. They are not the same as the other people. They are not the same as the other people. They are not the same as the other people. They are not the same as the other people. They are not the same as the other people. They are not the same as the other people. They are not the same as the other people. Tanri Ur Stitchin, Mongol Tatter in a Soitlas at a hero or a tanket Tirtlas at the Talbert at the Wichkin. They had a Udiris and Bus, Tanri in which Mongol Tahoxanta, Tanri in at the Rock of Jumtah in which Hultefson Tir Heltsanasas. A bit hung a hamper a hot in Stalt, a young woman lanked to his chin, the Tir Mashkut. Just talk to us here to be changing it. A bit of thing of time. The bit of thing which we all can touch or sort of whom no rock in or sort of man for my hand to him for two such as cracking and some as that much of him to him to most of Randall from Stitch B was singing Shin or sort of whom no rock or sort of man of much of him to have a hammer to take class of rock or heavy metal or hook or to change to be a sin to be a sort of person that in or Монголын үндэсний одоо хөгжмийн зэвсэг болсон шүү дээ. Хөгжмийн зэвсэг бол үс ойл дээр хуулгарлын барууны элемент гэдэг асуусан тийм урлаг байгаа. Тэгэхээр энд бол шин урсгал, энэ шин дуу одоо энэ төлөвлөлт нэрх танилцуулж байна. Right, uh, first of all, like thank you for having us today. And uh we're so happy to be in uh, Italy because it's our first time. And uh the genre we we play is a totally new genre that our producer Dashka came up with. And we call it the Hunu, uh, Hunu rock genre. So what happens is that uh, it gets in like really wide range. So it can play like many different genres. It branches out. So like not just rock or metal rock. It can like do uh, all kinds of different it, it consume on that. So, uh, and uh, this genre is that uh, it's like a mixture of our traditional music mixed with uh, Western rock music. So it's basically like Western rock is on, played on our uh, traditional instruments in uh, our culture. And when did they approach uh, music first? When rock and roll entered their lives? rock and roll and rock I think it was around when I was around like seven or eight years old. That's when I first like met the rock music. For Temka, uh, his parents were like big fans <coughs> of like uh, the band called Queen. Okay. So uh, 
I think he was around like five or six years old. That's when it all happened. And is there any um, scene, rock scene in Mongolia, or they're actually like pioneers and heroes in their own country? Mongolia is in rock in Yundir. Tanner's at the Patrick Hill Church in Moscow, and it's hard to have the team at the Nirbuki team at the Tulukchner, the Musa, the rock or something. You're not a whole stereo's passman and cloth of space and soil it nescued, mashal and cloth at the rock, and in them to which me and cloth or such it would observe some old or puch to sing at the rock metal or such it literal. Бүх цаг үед яг тогсоор ирсэн одоо ч гэсэн шин шин хамтгууд гарсаар байна. Тэгээд ер нь бол монголчууд бас энэ рок метал гэж юм маш эртнээс танилцсан тийм бүхтэй. So uh, even from back days uh, there were still like a lot of bands who were doing like a rock genre music such as like uh, like Soil Erden. And uh, even like in these days, these times, like there are still like a lot of young bands coming out with from the rock genre. So like basically Mongolians met this rock genre for a long time, so mm. they have a long time of history. And if they have a long time history, um, rock and roll have a long time history there, but actually it's the first time um, that in Italy comes something like that, and pretty much all around the world, it's the first time that a Mongolian band gets big. Why them? Um, it's just a matter of, you know, the team that works with the band or it's really what they do that appeals internationally. I think it's a lot of work in the world. I think it's a lot of work in the world. I think it's a lot of in the world. I think it's a lot of work in the world. I think it's a lot of in the world. I think it's a lot of work in the world. In a shatan, Tanner's the talk, Hunter's the teacher, and Hamtot Nichin in the Hutch Murus squad, Tannering Jost, Hitcher, and Dohook Jum, who must not hear in the choice, Tahan Tazik that, Tannering Jotos, then she stay on my own. Chain at the Bittery at the Hamt Chester will produce him and at the Hutch Bellwaho to get to Ru Hissing, and the producer of the Nick to wear new to reach snake in Tigo. Нэг одоо 9-10 жилийн судалгаан дээр тулгуурлаж хийсэн юм зүйл. Тэгээд төр үнийг чухал асуулт асуусан. Тэр нь танай Монгол урлаг яг та нарын одоо өнөөдөр тоглож явж байгаа шиг үү энэс өөр үгэж асуусан. Яг л бид нэр яг уугуул одоо өөрсдийнхөө хөгжим Монгол одоо уламжлалт дээр тулгуурлсан энэ хөгжим хийж явдаг. Одоо Монголд очиод Монголын ардын урлаг буюу үндэсний хөгжмийг сонсох юм бол яг л бидний морин хуур дугаар нь бидний төвшөөр дугаар нь бидний хөөми in хэрхэр агаарууд одоо уулдаг уламжлал яг л тэр чигтэй байж байгаа. Энийг яг уламжлал төрхийн алдуулалгүйгээр багш шиг энэ одоо өөрсдийнхөө энэ хүн нүр ак руу маш ивтэхнээр одоо ингэж оруулж өгч ашигласан бидрийн бас давуу тал. Тэгээд одоо хүмүүсийн дуртай байгаа нь хамгийн гол нас энд байгаа хэрэг. Унган чанарын алдагдуулалгүй шиг оруулж ирсэн. Энэ санааг хамгийн гол манай продюсер Даш Крахмани нэг хамгийн сэдэж олж энэ одоо Барны рок хөгжмийг Монголын энэ уламжлалтай ингэж холбий. Яг гэдгээр энэ хоёрт нэг ижил төстэй тал байна. Энэ нөгөө манай уламжлалт урлаг одоо яг энэ рок хөгжмийн суур шиг дөрөвт тавт буюу форт фифт гэсэн хөөгтэй аль хэд мянган жилийн өмнөөсөө ийм л хөөгтэй байсан. Яг л ийм одоо энэ хөөми бол яг л энэ дуралтаар ингээл байж ирсэн. Энийг шууд одоо ашиглах энэ санааг хамгийн гол нь манай продюсер олж авсан хамгийн чухал. Okay, uh, so first of all, like we gotta give our hats off to our producer Dashka because like he's the one who came up with all these ideas. He's like uh, the godfather of this whole thing. He planned it from the since from the scratch, and uh, it he didn't just like came up with this stuff. He came up with this like from like long time of research and study and a lot of hard working. From that, he came up with this genre called Hunnu Rock. Okay, and uh. Previously, you said a question about like keeping our traditional stuff. So, like for that, uh, if you go to Mongolia and hear our traditional music, you could still hear that uh, the play of horsehead fiddles, the instruments that we play, just like that. Uh, we like put our traditional instruments 
on rock music so easily you know like it's just like a step by step and uh you know like by people loving our music it's also like you know we're so grateful and honored by that but uh, overall uh all this hard work of mixing and putting in place was thanks to our producer Nashka. Oh yes. Sorry, I'm just called stuff. So um and he when he first like uh planning on this Hunu rock genre, he found like similarities between like this rock music, Western rock music and traditional Mongolian music. And that was like uh, similarities in a tone, like uh, it was like on tune. tune. Fourth and fifth tune. Okay. Yeah. And since they are traveling the world, um, <clears throat> did the approach of the band changed maybe to composition? Do, do they feel maybe contaminated, more contaminated in a sense, or uh, a bigger fortification of what they do? Um, I mean, is their peculiarities actually stronger now? Or do they actually have influences from places they visit, also in the composition of the songs? Basically, like, did they get changed yeah. in their music because of this all this tour? Yeah. Okay. Island teacher одоо газраас одоо инспирац аваад тэр их ач юм уу хөгжим дээр ингэж нэмсэн зүйл л байгаа юу тэг байх аа яг мэдээж фенеттэй гол заад маш гоё гурван зэрэг аван тэгээ тэгээд маш гоё тийм сэтгэлийн хөвчтэй хөгжмийн маш тийм гоё эмоционал байдаг гэхдээ яг нэг нюрокик та өөр ямар нэг улсын юмтай ингээд шингээх тэр бол боломжгүй гэж боддог угаса боломжгүй яагаад вэ л зөвхөн хүнүүр рокэ толхын тулд Монголын үндэсний өвчм гэхдээ яадаг юм Alright uh, first of all like you know since we're doing a lot of tours every time we go to a this certain place the love and support that we receive our fans is just humbling it's a lot and we like you know we appreciate it a lot for our fans but uh for our music side uh, this genre is we got to play our Mongolian traditional stuff. Yeah. That's the necessity of the soul of our genre. So for that, uh, we can't like mix any other stuff. We got to like keep that base with uh, the yeah. Western stuff. And about their influences, um, which are the bigger influences uh, from uh, Mongolia and internationally? that they have in their music from their point of view. Tanri өнцгөөс а одоо Tanri хөгжимд одоо ингэж нөлөөлж байгаа нөлөө сүсгэхийн одоо юм том нэрнүүд байна штэ. Гадаадын ч хэрэгж болно, дотоодын ч хэрэгж болно. Тим хүмүүс байгаа юм байна. Ер нь бол яг хөө бид бүхэн бүгдээрээ одоо мэрэгчлийн хөгжимчд тэгээд хүүхд багцаас бүх төрлийн хөгжим сонсч өссөн жишээлбэл хичээлийн програм дээр бол жишээлбэл одоо Монголын үндэсний хөгжимүүд уламжлалт одоо дуухар тэгээд классикийн сонгодог одоо югдийн дөөр тэ симфон юу гэдэг бүхэл хөгжмийн төрлийн хөгжимүүдийг хөгжим програмд сонсдог байсан а гэхдээ яг өөрсдийн бас сонирхолт тухай үед бол одоо бид бүгдийг хүүхд бол сурч явахт бол амьд хөгжим минь рок метал бол маш гайхалтай хөгжим маш одоо эрчтэй байсан тэгээд тэр чутаараа тэр дунд бас маш олон хамтлахуудыг бас сонсож байсан тэгээд нэрлээд байвал одоо маш олон бүхэл одоо хамтлахуудыг бас тухай үед дээ бүх байсан бүхэл хамтлахуудыг сонсож ирсэн Alright uh, as a professional musician like uh, during our studying days uh, we have to like study all kinds of genres not just rock it could be like uh, orchestra classic music symphony or like a pop music R&B music that's our major so uh but uh from those genres the things that specifically like affected us a lot was this live music mm. so like uh from back then uh we used to listen to all kinds of big names that was like you know popular back in days so like if i name right name right now there's a lot but uh you know 
all those big names that used to be popular during those days. Of course, Metallica is a name that comes up when mm -hmm. you talk about a band because they did a couple of songs uh, of Metallica repertoire, which, which are very particular, by the way. And about that, um, the first one was Sad But True. But then they've been contacted, I guess, to do True The Never for that special 30th anniversary edition of the Black Album. Was the song chosen by the Who or uh, actually uh, somebody else chose for them? And why not Sad But True since it was already done? I think it's not a good thing to do. Tom and Tom Tom did not get it. Metallica is out in his heart. It's not a good thing to do. 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 It's not a good through the never it was yeah it's song snow you know you're not like how black elk mommy not all state on a shit lot of interesting man and then go sad but true to motor often don't know those muscles on the hands of those things get to produce the home on the tour general thoughts and listen to it on the street and never thought there was hard black elk on the higher to a higher will pro and again not the mature in still did get mana higher or at here Тэр дундаас бас хонцгой дуг бас бид бүхэн бас тогсноо спид бүтээ гэдэг бол маш сонирхолтой байсан. Тэгээд металлгаас цаанаас ингээд төрөл дэн нэврийг тоглоочих гэсэн санал ирсэн. Тэгэхээр энэ бас бид нар бодох маш гоё юм дуршлага маш гоё юм челлендж болсон. Маш гоё сонирхолтой байсан. All right. Uh, so uh, when we were doing the cover on Metallica, so uh, for the song such as like Enter Sandman and uh, said but true there was a lot of covers on it so like okay. but uh from through the never there was only two covers on it but it was like really a uh, different kind of different music like a different genre so like the the offer came up from metallica yeah. to like do a cover on a through the never and that's how it happened okay about uh the very particular music instruments that the who use um I leave to them to pronounce correctly the, the name of this instrument, but um, do they think that the mixture of different culture, as the Who does, <laughs> is the key to, to regenerate, you know, rock and roll? Because, uh, you know, somebody says that rock is dead, but um, coming from Mongolia, there's some very interesting music, which is rock. So it's not that. Do they think that this is actually the key uh, to make rock survive? With their own traditions? Yeah, <clears throat> using, you know, different traditional stuff uh, and mix it to rock and roll. Is this the key? At the time when the country had to go to Urmuts, who joined them with a shelter, they were shooting at Ori Hill Court, Hamster, they were just under the smoke. They were what? Зарим нэг хүмүүс одоо ингээд хэлдэг рок бол одоо бас өгцөн рок бол одоо зогсоо байдал байгаа гээд тэнгууд та нар Монголоос ингэж гарч ирээд бүр тийм ялангуяа ингээд рок өгч мөр ингээд гарч ирэн өнгөт рок мэдээж ирэн ингээд зогсоогүй явж л байгаа нэл тодорхой байгаа тэнгууд та нар юу гэж бодож байна ингээд рок өгч мөрийг ингээд цааш нь явуулахын тулд ингээд өөрсдийнх нь юм уламжлалт ч юм уу юм өөр юм онцгой хөгжин зэмсгүүдийг оруулж ирээд ингээд хольж ихх нь рок юм цааш тийм зүү за энэ бидний одоо тоглож зурам бүтээлд хэрэглэдэг хөгж юм бол морин хуур хөгж юм тав шуур хөгж юм цоор хөгж юм энэ хөгж мөнд маань бол дөөмөртний түүхтэй уламжлалт юм яд суурын тийм хөгж хөгж мөн зэмсгүүд байгаа all right um so the instruments that we use on our band is called uh, Menenghor, that goes as a horse head fiddle, and uh, Tovshor, which is Mongolian guitar, yeah. and uh, Tor, it's like a flute-like Mongolian instrument. And uh, these instruments have like a long history in Mongolia, long and rich history. So, <coughs> 
тэр нэг том мод байл яхад модны салаан өчир болгон ингээд дүүрээд ирэх гээ ханжсан а тэгээд альва юм чинь тэгээд дүүрээд ирэх хэрэг задраад тэсэрдэг байхгүй юу за тэгээд нэг хэсэг тэгэнгүү тэр ч одоо яг тэр оргилцэгтэй хүрцэн ч байсан юм уу хөрөөг ч байсан юм хинч мэдэхгүй штэ за яг тэгээд тэр үед нь болохоор загтансан газар нь майж гэдэг шиг одоо манай урсгал мэндэлсэн а тэгээд ер нь бол яг уу ингэж боддтэй а энэ рок хөгжимчин ерөөсө тийм эрчлэг хүчтэй тийм ритм хэм хэмнэл дээр одоо ингэ нэр ярихад бол тэр зүйлд хүмүүс хөгждөг байхгүй тэгэнгүүт а энэ нүүдэлчдийн аж амьдрал ахуй дээр суурилсан энэ дуу хуур хэмнэл чинь өөрөө хүнийг тэгж бас тэр нэг эмоц хүч юу харуулдаг тийм ахуйг айлгуу дуурлт байдаг юм байна л да тэгэд тэрэн дээрээс нь энэ монгол хөгжим орон хуур тавшуур суур хөөми одоо энэ зүйл дээр ингээд тэр өөрт буусан тэр сэтгэл энерги илдэв бас юм а тэр хөгжим дээр монгол хуугаараа болох гэхээр тэр нь одоо тийм нэг сүрлэг одоо нэг тийм эмх хэц амраагүй байдлыг үүсгэн рокын хөдөлгөөн мэт тиймэрхүү хүчийг гаргаж ирдэг байхгүй тэгэнгүүт одоо яг тэр рокын элементтэй би бүхэн өөртөө энэ зүйлээ холиод сүлээ гаргаад ирэнгүүт нь хүн нүр рокын шин зүйл одоо урт хойч тэнийч чихэн сонортойгоо зүйл гарч ирээд тэр нь хүмүүст захнасан газар юм айж дахин сэргэлдэг гэж байхгүй юу All right now to start with it uh, everything has a limit to it so like if you compare like this rock thing with the tree so like every tr- branch was like filled with all kinds of you know different stuff so like you know like when you hit the limit it explodes right so just like that when we first came out like it's more of like uh it scratched on the place where it was itching the most it's like and uh so basically like in our culture like uh in our nomadic culture it's like it has a lot of emotions and power to it so like adding our own this hunu rock genre to it was just it was like a mixture of like perfect harmony so like when you hear it it kind of sounds like it's a uh, rock music so uh, that's why we call it it's like hunu rock and uh and that's why like people like love it most cuz like we added that traditional stuff to it and uh our culture of this nomadic life so that's what makes the who universal and appealing you know to an international audience do you think this is actually the trick let's call it like that and uh, um is the mission you know their proud mission accomplished uh tana in chin odo ingeed nogo nek olos tengech humus tengech taalagtaad aygu ich ingech hulj baga ge nuuts gej bodoj you know tege tana oor oor us ingeed tana ingeed үүрэг даалгавар чинь ингээд биелэгдсэн юм шиг хийж хэлж болох уу гэнэ. Mission accomplished. Тэгэлгүй яах вэ? Одоо бидний хилийн ойлгохгүй ч гэсэн одоо бид ингээд маш гоё ингэж сонсдог. Энэ бол ялдч юу? Одоо тарихнаас тарихын зүрхнээс зүрхэн төрж байгаа гин одоо илэрэл гэж боддог. Тэгээд бидний хилийг ойлгохгүй ч гэсэн бидний хөгжмөр дамжуулаад бидний хилгээд байгаа цаад санаа галижээ хүн одоо ингээд дал тухамсраар ойлгоод авсан байна гэдэг бол энэ бол маш одоо үнтэй зүйл бид нэг хувьд уран бүтээлчтэй хувьд бол а ингэхгүй байх юм бол бид нэг хөгжмийг хинч хүлээж авахгүй хинч сонсохгүй хинд ч хүрэхгүй тэгээд энэ бол бид нэг бас нэг даваа тал гэж бодож яг бол бид нэг хөгж хийж байгаа зүйл юм байна одоо хамгийн гол одоо цөмн гэх юм уу те одоо хүнд хурч чаддаг байна яг ингэ гэдэг унган байдлаар төрүүлж штэ унган төрхийн алдаг дуулдаггүй тэгээд маш гоё аялгуулаг монголын хөгжмийн өөрийнх нь нэг ирч юм нэг онцлог байна л та ингээд дуу бүр өөрөө ингээд өөр өөр ингэсэн өнгө төрхтэй байдаг өөр өөрийн түүхтэй өөр өөрийн одоо нэг юм гол цөмтэй байдаг яг тэр үтэр утгаараа хүмүүст маш гой хүрдэг тэгээд фэнд мэжикс яг тэр гой байдлыг нэг гэдэг гой мэдэрч манай хүчмэг сонсдог учраас бид нэг одоо бас гол одоо хүмүүс хурж байгаа хүчин зүйл нэндээ багш байна so well, also like first of all uh, the people who supports us like you know they don't speak mongolian language It, but uh, even though they don't understand what we're saying they could like understand it through our music cuz like music is basically like, uh, one language that everyone gets it so like uh like i said like even though they don't understand the lyrics they like already understood what we're trying to say to them so like for that we are so grateful and uh also like uh and if if it, if it wasn't like that our work will never like you know move forward it will just take in one place and we can't like do more stuff so for that we also so grateful and i think 
that thing is like like letting them understand our stuff through our music not just lyrically is i think it's one of our advantage hmm. and also uh mongolian music itself is like really unique it has its own like this melody and this emotion to it so for that i think people loving it a lot the lyrics are in Mongolian, but some of the titles are in English. So uh, why this choice? And uh, is that maybe a way, you know, to, to deliver it um, quickly or to surprise the people? Because actually you read the English title, but then uh, you don't understand the lyrics. So And it's also like a, a sort of a message in a sense, because you know maybe what the song is about already from the title so what's their uh, the, their what's behind this choice what's they, their spirit uh, about it school <laughs> Right, uh, so every country has its own unique language to themselves, but uh, the the language that most people understand is English. Yeah. So for that reason, we name it like you know some songs in like English. But uh, what we want is that we also like try to put the lyrics in a, a different language. We want that, but uh, you know still it's on progress level. So. <laughs> So uh, we all live under one sun, so uh, we want to like spread our music to everyone and uh, we want to spread this positive message of like, uh, we want to tell you that awaken your uh, inner warrior and also like uh, you, we want you to feel that special unique world that you have in yourself and also like we want you to help to like go through your difficult times like if you're going to uh if, you, if you're sick or like if you're going to different yeah. like difficult times or tough situations we want to help you through our music so like we want to spread this positive message to everyone so you could feel it through your heart and like mind to mind and heart to heart and uh, feel that energy the energy that we're trying to spread and so you can feel that, you feel like how special you are. They are playing Milan tonight. Um, how would they describe why the Who show is different than any other live experience in the world? Энэ <laughs> Санагчин тэгээд би төхний хөгжим бол одоо тал нутгийн тийм ээ онгон дагшин эрчинэрэг за тэр одоо дэлхийн олон юм 
энергийн төвүүд байдаг. Тэн түүний олонх нь Монголд байдаг. Тэгээ тийм олонх нь байдаг нутаг төрсөн хүмүүсээс гардаг энерги ямар байдаг вэ гэдгийг бид тайзан дээр бас үзүүлэх хийх хийдэг. Бас үзэгчд маань бид нараас бас тэрхүү энергийг бас олж хардаг авдаг. Тэгвэл чи бас бидний онцлог бас эндээ байна. Тэгээд Монголын одоо энэ гой нүдэлчтийн соёл ч ингэсэн өнөр амттайгаа юм гой хөгжмийг ирж одоо таалмал болохыг хүсэж байна. Та бүхэн одоо билээд хаалж аваад бид нартай уулзах билэм болсон байгаа гэж найдаж байна. Тэгээд өнөөрөө бүгдөрөө ботоолцгаая. Well, uh, first of all, like, you know, uh, we are here in Italy, Milano, Italy, first time. Basically, it's our first time in Italy. So, uh, we are so happy to be here. It's probably cuz that's the reason and uh the thing that differs us from uh the other live music is that we have this uh uniqueness of this nomadic culture so we have that uh taste and smell to it and uh that a lot of energy centers around the world but a lot of them in state like is in located in Mongolia so like since we're from Mongolia we want to let you feel that energy that we gathered from Mongolia and for that reason like uh i think our music is different and uh i'm sure uh, a lot of you people who are listening right now like bought their tickets and about to like go to our show getting ready and uh we just want to spend this night crazy with our supporters and fans tonight yeah we just want to go blast and you know we want you to feel that nomadic culture and <laughs> looking Energy. forward to it <laughs> okay um the name the who as a precise meaning um and you also often use it in the introductions of the songs like a manifesto a statement in a said the who the who the who um did they ever think about the fact that it sounds a lot like the who the classic rock <clears throat> uh british band do they play with that in a sense or i mean they don't care and uh, there's you know no confusion about it одоо нөгөө нэг та нар нэр чин хамтг чин нэрээс айгу сонирхолтой гинэ the who гэдэг тийм уу та нар юм ямар нэг их хүн нэг чин их хин дээр who 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 гэсэн татарцсан их зүйл их ордог гинэ та нар яг ингээд өөрсдөө ингээд дуунда ингээд шингээд тийм уу заримда who who get on what get angli nego who get hamtlhig hilch ga chim shig sanagtdag gine ango todorhoy hamjin ta nar te hamtlhig mitgu eswel inged hamtarsan yuda baga yu eswel tir tlasa nitur te ho hamtlhig nirni uchig tabirle who gidig ugmen bol bitre ugde ez khunnu boyu tunes irtnes inged khirilgech baisan oda irdentun sudlaachti одоо судалгаагаар нотлогцсон энэ бол яг Монгол язгуур юу байгаа их үг энэ бол хүн төлөвтнийг илэрхийлсэн оюун ухаанд амтны их үг нь бол хүү энэ одоо Монгол хэлэн ч гэсэн одоо хүнийг илэрхийлэхтэй хүн хүмүүс хүүхэд хүү язгуурта үг болгон энэ хүн төлөвтнийг илэрхийлдэг дээрэс нь бас маш сонирхолтой энэ англи хэлэн дээрийн хэлэн дээр ч гэсэн хиумэн гэдэг үг ч гэсэн энэ хүү язгуурта тэгэхээр энэ тэр чигээрээ хүн төлөвтнийг илэрхийлсэн тийм одоо язгуур үг байгаа. Тэгээ энэ нь бас бидний нэг гол төрөний хэлсэн мессежтэй бас яг ч тав таарч байгаа. Тэгээ хүн болгонд бид бүгдийн хүчин хөрв түгэн дэлгэрээс ихсэн утга бас юм бас байгаа. All right, I think uh, we have to start uh, explaining our why we named our band the who. So like even from our if you look at our history like from way back where our ancestors from like for the Hunu era even then they used to use this word so basically like this hu is root word of many words in mongolia such as like if you say a sun we use who w and all like if you say a human in mongolian that's also like it starts with who so uh it's like this uh the root word of a lot of things and also like there's funny fact that even in english when you say human and it starts mm-hmm. yeah. with who so like the name this who h u like like combines with our the message that we trying to spread it it's like it's mixed like connected really good yeah. in one way so uh just like that we want to like spread our uh this positive message and work to everyone so that's why we named our band the who 
мэдээж англи алдартай хүү амлыг мэдлэхгүй яг хуу том одоо амин томог одоо ч гэсэн тогсоор байна тий. Тэгэхээр яг тэд бүгд энэ дуудлагын төстэй боловч чигт энэ бол бас тустай шал өөр утгатай шал өөр бас зүйл байна. Тэгэхээр мэдээж яг хуу одоо дуудлагаараа төстэйгээр хоёр хүү хамтлаг бас хамтдаа төрч юм уу уран бүтээл хийхийг бас хинч өгүүлсэхгүй. Бас тэр эс гайхалтай зүйл бол магадгүй л үүдэж байна. And for the band, the English band, the Who, you know, they're like really famous band, and uh, even now, like they're still playing their music. So like, you know, we we can't say like you know maybe one day, like the Who and the Who might play together. You know, since yeah. we have the similar these like similar names, so uh, you never know. You know, it might happen in the future, but for now, that's all for it. About this, about. <laughs> Хүү гэдэг үг бол маш хүчтэй үг. Өөрө их хүч байхгүй юу? Хүч гэдэг үг бас хүү ядгуртай бол тийм ээ. Тэр учраас бид нарт ингээд бид нар ингээд хүмүүсийг дагуулаад та нар ингээд хүү хүү гэд хилээд үздэ. Тэх юм бол ингээд нэг шал өөр зүйл мэдрэгдэнэ гэдгийг ингээд хэлэхэд байна. Тэр учраас дуун дээр бид нар ингээд хүү хүү гэж их оруулдаг. А энэ үгийг ингээд нэг 10 удаа ч юм уу 20 удаа тавтаад хэлэх юм бол таны одоо ингээд дотор байгаа бүх одоо муу агаар одоо амьсгал бүгд гараад та одоо юм тэрийг хийсний дараа ч юм уу те ингээд нэг гой шин амьсгалаар амьсгалан гоотой юм ийг арай нэг өөр өөр харж ич магадгүй. Тэм учраас энэ өөр их тийм хүчтэй эд шиттэй үг байхгүй юу? Тэм учраас энийг хүмүүс бас тарахын тулд түгээхийн тулд бид нар энийг дагуул шийд хийлгэдэг байхгүй юу? Хөө хөө гэд. А тэгээ бидний тоглолтыг үзэж байгаа хүмүүс энийг хийгээд бүр сурцсан одоо бид нар хүлээгээд ингээд энийг хийгээд хийх юм хүсээд энийг хийхээр дараа нь шал өөр гой байдаг гэдэг ингээд мэдрэмжийн авцсан учраас манай фэнүүд аль үзээ бид нар одоо ингээд хөө хөө гэд дэмжээ зогсож идэг энэ бол маш гой зүйл тэгээд энэ өөрөө юм хүчтэй үг шүү Okay he just wanted to add a couple more things so uh the who the name itself is like really powerful word so yeah. like in mongolian language when you say power we say huch so like that starts with who so yeah. like when you say who 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 it's like it has a lot of power to it so like that's the one of the reason why we added to on one of our like many songs in the yeah. beginning so like basically if we just keep saying like who 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 it will like your all your negative and this side effects like everything will leave your body okay and that's why maybe like you could just try saying it 10 times Good. and after that if you get like fresh air after saying like who 10 times you might see things differently so this word itself is like really powerful yeah and it's like magical word that yeah. you could say great tip i'll use that yeah. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> i think a lot of fans who have seen our live show is knows that yeah. and i think they are ready to say it, you know yeah the matter of fact like right now getting ready for our show great great and um, so it, they said you know that they hope that the who and the who will play together one day but they already shared the stage with a lot of uh or, or actually some great bands like five finger that punch for example which is the best compliment that they got from uh from colleagues you know rock sure. colleagues i don't know when the says no one that's actually one that's under stores the dot matter of it is something what тэнээс гадна та танд ид айгүй олон ус том амтлагчтай хамтарч ажилласан. Тэгээд одоо тэдрээ нэг бол Five Finger Dead Punch, Megadeth гэдэг тэгээ л тээ. Нөгөөт энэ хамтлагтай ажилласнаар тэднээс одоо ингэж одоо аль нэг хамтлагаас нь ч юм уу гарч ирсэн. Та нар ингэж магтсан хамгийн тийм гой том магтаал юу байсан бэ гэнэ. За сая би бүхэн бас тэр одоо энэ Америк улсад болон одоо энэ рок хэвтэнцэд одоо стил жанр болгондоо одоо бас нэрийг олсон хүчийг олсон тийм амтлагт бол айлын тоглолт хийлээ. За тэгээд ингээд энийг айлын тоглолтыг харж явах тул энэ мэдээж би бүхэн бас тэд дээрээ сурах юм байла. Тэд бүхэн ч гэсэн биднээс бас энэ нүүдэлчтэй хөгч юм соёлох уус бас сурж мэдрэх төр сүнслэг тайтгарлыг бол авсан гэж бол итгэж юм мэдэрч байна. Тэгэхээр та тэгээ. Right uh... Like on the when we were in the states, we did a tour with this uh, the band which is like good in like every genre, the Five Finger Dead Punch, and also uh, the legendary Megadeth. Megadeth, yeah. And also Five from the Gods. Yeah. 
So uh, during that tour, uh, we exchanged a lot of, you know, knowledge and experience to each other. You know, we learned a lot from them, from this Western rock music side. And also, I'm sure they have uh, learned uh, a couple things from our, like, uh, nomadic culture itself. And, uh, you know, I could feel that, so... Uh, and uh, during those times, like um, all those bands were like, you know, complimenting us, you know, mm -hmm. they're sharing this positive words to us, like, you know, you guys are the best bands on this tour, things like that. Yeah, very flattering. Yeah, great. Um, last question for today. So about the soundtrack of the movie Star Wars Jedi Fallen Orders. Mm -hmm. What meant to you working on that and how does it fit with your music, which is very concrete, organic and down to earth, you know? Isn't that like a sort of contradiction in a sense that, you know, was stimulating for them? <laughs> Jetzt <coughs> 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 All right, uh, so the experience was like really great for us, you know, like it was like uh, one of those work that we enjoyed most and uh, we did a not just two soundtracks, we have, we did a four soundtracks for them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, dude. <coughs> So this this game world itself has like its own universe to it. It's like really different from like this music and things like that. So uh, even like our work, I believe that I think it's not just uh, the thing that comes from us. I think it's also like coming from a different side of us. And uh, for that, like when we just when we did the soundtrack and after the game got released, when we were playing it. He could feel it, you know, like he could feel like how different it became and uh it just it, the experience was like really pleasant for him. Yeah, they And on that note, what we trying to say is that uh the Hunu rock genre uh, can adapt to uh, many different styles of genre and not just genre it can adapt to a game itself too and uh and also like like not just rock music it can be like pop music r and b sure not even like hip hop music so from that like the the genre that we came up with this Hunu rock is just you know it's really complex and really unique genre. The <laughs> All right, so uh, so if you wanted to add more, so uh, not just music, it can be like game or movie or different kind of arts or and also like sports, 
and I think this Star Wars project proved it. And, uh, you know, back in the days, like, when Star Wars did their soundtrack, it was mostly, like, classic symphony or orchestra. But this time it was, like, us, and that was, like, the first time they did it. And uh, when we were, like, meeting them, they even, like, told us that you guys were the most interesting that band that we have or ever worked with. So uh, yeah. we're just grateful for the opportunity. Thanks, guys, very much for taking the time to talk to us, to me, to Linea Rock. And uh, I hope to welcome back you to Milan very soon. And I'm so happy that I got to know you. And what you thanks for what you do, which is very, very interesting, which is very energetic. And it's one of the positive things of, you know, the streaming era of the Internet. Get you know, to know um so such interesting bands from all around the world and you're really one of the best so far that i've discovered in the last uh, few months so thanks very much and uh, enjoy milan and welcome back soon thank you so much thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Одоо энэ нөгөө нэг сошиал хэрэгтэн сугчсан цагт одоо та нарын дуу хурд ингээд хүн болгон тараад их сайн хамаагаа тэгээд та нар бол энэ олон хамтлагууд дундаас онцгой хамтлагуудын нэг тэгээд энэ хүний хувьд бас сүүлийн энэ хідэн сар цонссон энэ гой одоо хөгжмнүүд юм бас нэг байж чадсан шүү тэгээд та нар их ингээд гой хүчрэхэг сүнслэг тийм одоо гой хөгжим тэгэхээр маш байдлаа Thank you so much for having us. Thank you. Thank you.